Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. Um, yeah, I wanted to get on here and just talk to you guys and just sit down, take a breather. It's been a little while since I've made a video um, talking with you guys and just changing my babies and just relaxing. It has been a crazy year, as you, as we all know, it this has been a crazy, crazy, crazy year. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to get on here, um, just change my little Romy here. This is Romy by Sam, Gundra by oh my gosh, by Sam by Gudrun Leclerc. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, and this was reborn. This little guy was this little girl, not little guy, was reborn by Reborn Sweet. I kind of don't want to change her, but um, I thought it'd be time to change her. It's been a while since I uh, changed her. The last time I changed her was the first time I actually received her, so it's been at least a month or so. I'm gonna be giving her this adorable little outfit here. It's very cute. I'm not sure if it's gonna fit her, but I saw it in my closet and I'm like, this is adorable. I really wanna see this is a three month, so I don't know if it's gonna fit her correctly, but we'll we'll try. And then it comes this cute little I guess you call it a little hat, little bonnet. Um, but it's very cute. I don't think she needs hats because I really love to look at her hair. She got really beautiful dark brown hair. It's supposed to be like brown to dark brown hair. So yeah, guys, um, I wanted to wish everyone a happy uh, New Year's Eve and get on here. I hope you guys like my cat. I got this cat for Christmas actually, so I thought it'd be really cute just to put it on here since, uh, since we're still in the holidays. I know it's not Christmas anymore, but I still have all my decorations, guys. I don't put my decorations away until actually my my son's birthday so my son's birthday is january 2nd my youngest he's turning five so i don't normally put anything away until after that i know i know i don't know i just i get really sad putting everything away but like christmas is actually my favorite time of the year and halloween i do love halloween too but christmas is number one halloween is number two so they're very different holidays you know i really love christmas the aspect of family because i family to me means the world um and i just love the smiles on children's faces when um especially my kids when they get their gifts like it just it's i've always said this that christmas is really like a child's holiday and it really just i don't know just bring happiness i know we need more happiness in the world not just during Christmas, but I feel like maybe with around your family, it should always, you should always be like that way around your family. But for some reason, there's something about Christmas that it's kind of magical. Um, at least to me, I think it's just the way that I was brought up in my household. Um, my family wasn't really family oriented. So because I guess I lack that, it's kind of very special to me when it comes for Christmas. And I try to make it the best for my kids. So, so yeah, that's why. Um, I think that's why for me. But, yeah. So hope I hope everybody stays safe and has a wonderful New Year's Eve. Um, we are here on back on quarantine lockdown here in Canada. See, it's a little big on her, but um, I think it still looks cute. I think it still looks cute, it is pretty big. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So we're back on quarantine and uh, so we're on the gray area, which is lockdown. <laughs> Everything's back lockdown. And so it's not like you can do anything for New Year's. So I'm just staying in and just basically doing a little celebration here at home. You know, probably listen to music, probably just watch movies, just chill. You know, I'm still going to,
probably dress up and put some makeup on because I need to do that for me. I know it's silly, but it really isn't silly. Um, it's okay to make yourself feel better. And, you know, if you want to, if you want to make yourself maybe look a little bit more presentable, it's not a big deal. I mean, some people will be like, well, you're at home. Why do you need to do it? Well, you know what? I want to do it because I want to look cute. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, look how big this is on her. Yeah, that's so big. Oh my gosh. This is too big on her. You know what, guys? I am going to change her to something else because it's just so big. Oh gosh, something drops. Yeah, for some reason you guys cannot see her properly. I just adjusted the camera. I'm gonna give her this little dress. It's a little pink, cute little dress. Does I don't need a little, I don't need a hat or bonnet or anything like that. So I'm just going to give her this dress. Okay. So I'm gonna be giving her this one. It's very cute too. It's kind of, I don't know. I don't know the material of it, but it kind of looks like it has that lace look to it. It's really adorable. It's really warm. So this is not definitely too big for her. I don't, maybe it's going to fit. Um, it's probably going to fit my Ruby because she's bigger. If it doesn't fit, I'll probably give it away to um, a box opening because I have, my babies are normally between newborn size and probably the biggest I have is zero to three. But normally I go for newborn or preemie. Mostly newborn, though. So let's just put that away. Put that over here. She's so cute, though. So, yeah, the, that's what I'm doing tonight, guys. And I was even thinking about doing, like, um, a little makeup tutorial. Just, uh... There's been a couple people asking me to do makeup tutorials. I used to make, um, I used to do makeup tutorials all the time before. Um, I stopped because I turned this channel into a reborn channel. Um, and I wasn't, I don't know, um, my channel wasn't really kicking off with me doing like makeup stuff. Um, I'm not going to consider it a makeup tutorial because I am in no way a, oops. <laughs> I am in no way a professional, but I am self-taught. When I, do, when I do my makeup. Oh, see, that's cute. Oh, my gosh. And I used to do sometimes makeup tutorials, but I like to call them more like um, get ready with me or something like that because, you know, makeup is, even if people are a professional makeup artist, makeup is really your own art, and I don't consider anything wrong or anything right. I'm just gonna show you how I do my makeup and you know, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, just move on. It's that type of uh, thing. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna choke right now, <laughs> sorry. <coughs> oh geez. Do you guys ever get that where you speak too fast and then you take in like too much air and then it tickle in your throat and then you start hacking and coughing? It's like, oh my gosh, really? The worst is if you're out. <laughs> If you're out and out of a sudden you get hit with like a tickle on your throat. It's like, really? Right now? Like, seriously? The, it's like the worst time to do it, right? Because everyone will just look at you. Oh my gosh, she's sick. When I'm not. <laughs> Another thing too, guys, is I suffer from a lot of, I suffer from allergies. I'm like allergic to like dust and everything else. So if I go around anything with too much dust around it, I'll start freaking coughing. Or getting itchy or whatever else. Basic basic allergic reaction type things. So yeah, guys. <laughs> I really like that outfit on. My little Romy here. She looks so cute. Oh my gosh, look at her. I just love her. Um, also, I because I didn't do videos while I was during Christmas season, because I was so busy finishing customs, I was trying to get them all out the door. Um, a baby left my nursery and I'm actually very, very sad that the baby's gone. My Levi by Reborn Sweet by Sheila and Maxwell sold, uh, during the Christmas holidays, the same artist set from this baby. So I'm su super happy that I still have a baby from this artist because I absolutely love her work. Um, I sold Levi because... I had no other choice. I had to sell Levi. There were some things I needed to take care of. 
and yeah so that's why Levi left my nursery I never thought Levi would have left my nursery because I've always looked at him as my forever baby so it's kind of you know kind of sad and he was a first edition Levi too he wasn't like um second edition he was rare he was more on the rare side because he was the first one more like limited edition but um I put him up for sale and literally the day after or so someone bought him from the states so uh he did leave he's gone i'm not sure if the lady got the baby yet but um yeah i'm sure when she gets him she's gonna be over head over heels with him she has owned um sheila and maxwell's babies in the past so she knows uh how her how the artwork looks like which is absolutely amazing and to die for i really really love uh sheila and maxwell's babies and she knows that <laughs> i'm her her number one fan so but yeah so uh just in case you guys don't see levi anymore um yeah he sold and he was he he left my nursery so i'm really really sad i had a good you know i had a good size collection going in the future i might want to have another Levi in my collection um I'm not sure yet but if I do it'll probably be way in the future because right now I am trying not to buy any babies I have a lot of things to pay off so I need to try and keep my head set on that but I will be making a lot of babies to sell that's for sure and I am going to be making a, a baby for myself for my nursery for this year so I guess that Levi with him leaving I'm getting a new baby coming to my nursery which will be made by me for the first time i'm gonna have a baby made by me i think um i think now that i've been making babies for you know not too too long but long enough that i've basically mastered my craft i'm going to make myself a baby i'm really starting to love how i root and everything like that and everything else so you know again i'm my own worst critic i still think i have a couple things that i want to work on but I think every artist is that way I think even if she is been work like even if she's been making dolls for 10 years I still think that every single person has something that they think that could be better and it's natural to feel that way because we are all human so it's okay to feel that way and it's okay to want to better ourselves at a certain uh thing like for instance eyebrows <laughs> or hair or um, working more on the details on the doll to make it look, to give it that extra realism, you know, like stuff like that. So for me, I think, I don't know. I think it's a little bit of everything for me in my opinion, but yeah, I, th I actually think that I could actually get better at hair, um, like painting hair. This is why I tend to go more towards rooting. I feel like I'm better at rooting than I am at painting hair and some people will be like no you're great and i'm like well you know that could be better there, there are certain places for improvement which it's true like i adore um shayla and maxwell's painted hair i think it's absolutely gorgeous the way she paints her hair and they it looks super realistic which i love so and then there's the extra the little combi on the top uh levi had less levi had less combi hair um, his was more fine and he, he was more sporadic. It was less full. Uh, this little girl here, she has more, which I really love this look, to be honest. I actually prefer it. I prefer it over, um, the Levi's hair, but it's beautiful and I love looking at it. I think it's just gorgeous. I love how she rooted, like, I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain, but the way she roots it. It makes it looks like it's literally following the direction of the painted hair, which is beautiful. So yeah, guys. So um, I think that's it. I will be uploading this video hopefully soon. Um, basically, when I'm done here, I'll probably be uploading this. So by the time you see this, if you're in Canada, it'll probably be around five or six o'clock. Um, again, I want to wish everyone a an awesome night stay safe if you are going out um and i just want to wish everybody a wonderful new happy new year and hopefully it's better for you 
for in the new year. I know it's been tough for everybody and I'm hoping that for the new year, it just gets better and that we get some some of our normalcy back because um, I feel like a lot of people are struggling right now and I feel like this whole situation this year has made certain people not as, what's the best way to put it, not as friendly. Um, and I'm hoping, I pray for those people and I hope that they, you know, they find out what is missing in their life or whatever and try and, you know, think of everybody and not just themselves because, yeah, we're all in this together and we need to, you know, act like it, not be, in, not getting in too much into it and try and put anyone down, but I don't, it's hard to explain it without, you know, explaining what is up. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's basically it guys. I'm really, really just super happy that you guys can join me here. Please, if you can give my video a like, um, and subscribe if you haven't, because I will have probably a lot more videos coming up in the new year. I will be very busy in the new year. I have already a few customs for the new year and I have madness of babies in my storage to paint as well so i'm probably going to paint one custom one baby for sale one custom one baby for sale or maybe two customs one baby for sale two customs one baby for sale just to get it you know out of the way <laughs> anyways guys i really really appreciate you coming to join me and baby romy let's see her for one last time until the new year here she is Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.